guys, your girl Creamy here, and happy Blessed Wednesday! Oh, sorry, I just can't keep it in because I'm just like super duper excited that we are finally, finally able to spend time with Christ physically, which is like a big, big thing. Finally, it's been like a long while, like since March 17, when they officially closed it. And uh, and I'm probably sure you're thirsting for Christ, you're thirsting for God, just, whew, just that quiet time and a celebration of Mass, really. And I'm really excited that it will officially be June 20. So just in time for Father's Day and just in time for my dad's birthday. So I'm just like, yes. June 21, my dad's B-Day. <laughs> so really, that's why, you know, we should really just take this time to rejoice, to be grateful, to be thankful, and to not waste this opportunity. I know it's going to be a little bit of like first come, first serve, but really like try your best. Try your best to go to church because really that's, it's our time. It's our time to spend time with Christ and to show our love for God and to not waste time on the worldly matters, right? Because really, like, as the, you know, economy is slowly getting back to shape, we still have to do our part, you know, unfortunately, but the whole social distancing, but, you know, it's all in God's time. It's all in God's time. And we then we therefore have to really place our faith, our hope, our trust, and our confidence all in God's hands so that everything will fall into place. Even though that this trial and tribulation may seem like endless, but with God, he has his perfect timing for everything. So therefore, you know, just really keep on fervently praying for what God wants you to pray for. And especially during this time, if he's leading you to a special vocation or a special person for you to love, really just go and try your best and he will handle the rest and he will always be with you. That I can guarantee you. Really, we just have to stay fervent and strong and ardent for God and really that's all we can do. That's our ultimate way to show our love to God at the end of the day. You know, to use all of our gifts, our talents, our our skills because really we have to pray for those that are you know volunteering to help set up the church and prepare the church for everyone to come back so we have to pray for them we have to allow ourselves to unite in prayer for them and to if you have spare time go and volunteer because really that's an act of service that's an act of charity for christ you know and you will be blessed 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 so, with that said, we can all use graces from God, really. We all need it. We all can use it because we all, we are frail. We're human, and we're, we can all succumb to our weaknesses anytime. So, therefore, we need graces to be strong and fervent and firm, standing firm in our faith. So, we all need it very much. So, again, thank you so much for being here. I For those that are also watching my music covers, thank you so much. And I know my talks are a little long, but I keep it to at least 30 minutes because that's not only how, much, how long a talk is in general. And then, you know, anything longer than 30 is more like a, a movie in itself. So I'm just like 30, 20 to 30, that's it. Cut off. <laughs> but really, if you have any suggestions for any topics about Christ that you want me to talk about, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll greatly appreciate it and my prayers will continually go out to you and your family during this time to stay healthy to stay strong to stay firm in your faith in christ and to constantly grow and ha having that spiritual growth with christ every step of the way so with that said i hope you have your favorite snack and favorite beverage with you so you'll be comfortable hanging out with me for christ and for god and with that said let's get let's to start. talk to you guys about on the joy of serving christ the joy of serving Christ. Really, this is a perfect topic for today, actually, because now that we've received the great good news, great good news. <laughs> I just really realized great and good, they're like both the same word. <laughs> Oopsie. See, this is what happens when like someone is like so excited about, you know, just 
spilling the good news out there. Yeah, so really like it's... <laughs> So really, like, when you just are filled with the Holy Spirit and you just feel that bubbly side of you inside, you have to let it out. You have to spread it to everyone around you so it will be passed on, really. That's how the Holy Spirit works, you know, when the Holy Spirit blesses you with so much joy and happiness and feeling like a red ball just, like, bouncing off the walls. That's not for you to contain in a little Pandora box, but for you to be out there to be bold, to be full of courage out there. So with that said, you know, as I was saying, sorry to go off topic, I really felt this topic was really necessary because now that the churches are preparing to open up, volunteers are needed. Acts of service are needed for Christ, you know, and from that point on, you will receive graces, you will, you will receive blessings, you will receive the joy that joy and that happiness in your heart that no one else but God can only give you. Really. Because when you start to really do anything for God with love, especially with love, because if you treat it like a chore and a job and just for like money purposes, no, you're not going to get anywhere. Seriously. No. When it comes to doing acts of services and acts of charity for God and for Christ, you have to do it with love. Like, if you get a compensation, great. Take as a bonus. But don't focus your mind on just getting the compensation afterwards. It's more like how your heart really focuses on you doing the actual act of service and act of charity for Christ. That is what God looks for. Therefore, if you're constantly doing volunteering, great. You know, because have it with pure intentions. That's what's really important, though, because God can see what's in your heart. You know, if God can see that you're doing a ministry only just for the wrong intentions and for impure intentions, you can't hide. No one can hide, really. Because especially for music ministry, it tends to be more on the ego side, like just showing off, right? So therefore, you know, it's always really important that for those who are watching this or that are involved in the music ministry, just remember that you're performing for Christ and you're performing for God. Therefore, always do the best of the best of your capabilities. Like, yes, if people compliment you, great. Okay, just ex transfer it up. Transfer it up to God. That's all through him because really, we are just instruments. The musicians and vocalists and whatnot, we're just instruments, right? And we just have to allow ourselves to be that vessel, that vessel of Christ and that vessel of God, for God so that we, we will be fruitful. We will flourish, FF. Fruitful and flourish. Those are two main points that we have to remember. To be fruitful for Christ and to flourish for Christ. Because really, at the end of the day, like, as I said, God can see the, the intentions of your heart. So therefore, you know, if you try to mask it around others, you can't hide from God. Nothing is unseen in the eyes of God. It's true. So therefore, before you even begin doing anything, anything like any music covers during this time especially this online life or just remember and remind yourself as i said before in my previous video to ask yourself the question before you post a video of yourself before you post a talk video of yourself is it for the glory of yourself or is it for the glory of god that's it. Simple as that. Because it really gives you that checkpoint and that reminder before you even act upon it. Because really, you can't ha be in that illusion that like, oh yeah, I'm doing it for God, that God, what not, right? But then really, the back of your mind, God's like, what? Are you, wh hello? 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 Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you know, you don't want to come across like Judgment Day with Christ and with God and... Uh, you were just clouded in this illusion of thinking that you were actually doing for God, but really it was just for yourself. Really with that in mind, first remind yourself of the intentions of serving Christ and God. Right? Asking yourself the question, is it for me, the glory of myself, or the glory of God? Right? If it's for the glory of God, okay, great. You know, proceed to the next step to really allow yourself to remember that you will be blessed with that joy and that sweetness of, of Jesus Christ within your heart. 
Because from that point on, you will constantly want to continue doing it with, with no expectations, but only for Christ, and that's it. Because we have to see Christ in everyone around us. Because really, Christ and God, they place us in opportunities for us to grow. But sometimes we are blurred by the worldly distractions for us to realize that we are we have the opportunity right in front of us to embrace and to take on that challenge but then we're just so blurred we're like so distracted right so therefore just allow yourself to see christ in everyone around you you know if you see the opportunity take it and allow the holy spirit to work within you and that's the seed of you where you will really bear fruit and flourish you know that is the seed of christ to grow like a mustard seed, right? So from that point on, like when you continue to really serve Christ more and more, you will really allow Jesus to show his mercy towards you beyond all hope. Y'all on hope and he will restore you with all the graces that you need along that journey and how the graces that you need for that journey as well too. Because essentially you will come across cases and scenarios here and there that will definitely make you feel troubled at times you know because that's the enemy trying to discourage you and the enemy trying to push you off track for christ those thoughts those frustrations those trials especially you know the trials though are god permitting that for you to grow so don't think about Think of trials and tribulations as like God punishing you, as I said before. It's God allowing you to be pruned, to be purified, to persevere, and to constantly allow yourself to practice that virtue of patience. I know patience is one thing that all of us are being worked on right now, but it's for the best. Because really, God's preparing us for greatness to come and for more challenges to come and more crosses for us to take up. It's the crosses that allow us to really know and realize that Jesus is always with us. Therefore, when you take up your cross, Jesus is there with you. Because Jesus carried his cross. He embraced his cross for the fact that he loved us so much and the mercy and love to take on all of our sins on that cross and he died for us so always remember that all the time like it doesn't mean you have like 10 million crosses jesus didn't do anything no he jesus went through a lot like a lot you know dying for us being humiliated being mocked being spat on and yet he asked god to forgive them so just that simple humility and love for his persecutors and for those who hated him is so beautiful like that because it just shows to God how much you love God by forgiving those who have done wrong to you. You know, so that's why we have to allow ourselves to open our hearts during this time especially to focus on having that joy to serve christ to serve god and from that point on we should not expect rewards from heaven because and from god because you know god's the one that blesses us blesses us with graces that we need that we need and will will make us happy but we can't be like god where's my reward pay up no we can't be like that you know, when we serve Christ and when we serve God, we have to do it with full love, no expectations, and showing, especially showing that examples, example to others around us that this is what we are called to do, to serve others for Christ. And that's really, exactly as we go through that journey to serve Christ and serve God, God Jesus has appointed guardian angels for to serve our needs, to help us, to guide us, and to really allow us to grow as well. You know, so we're not alone. And you should never think that you're alone in a journey that you don't know what's gonna happen next. You know, especially being in that time of cloud of unknowing, the time of unknowing, 
you know, allow yourself to be in that time with love because really I love how God just like has this perfect timing perfect timing to just unveil that answer for you that you've been fervently praying for for so long you know or if he if, or if he's already shown you unveiled you the answer it's just a matter of you having that that boldness and that confidence to just take on that new journey <laughs> we need christ we need god to allow us to bless us with our grace to take on that journey and to not be afraid for what's to come, but to only be confident and to be rejoicing for what's to come. Because really, God only wants us to have the best of the best, right? So, and that's why it should be our great honor. It should be our great honor to serve Christ and to serve God and give freely of ourselves to God for his holy service, you know? And therefore, you will, you will receive great graces. Always remember that. You will receive great graces, but don't expect according to your own time. Because that's one thing that we are very frail to falling into is just having everything in our own time and having everything according to our timeline. But with God, it's his time and his perfect time. There is a reason why we're in this time of waiting and it's for us to take on that challenge to grow in virtue. We always remember that, to grow in virtue. So that's why through that waiting and through that time of just waiting for this whole social distancing to be over, you know, find comfort in the Holy Spirit. Find comfort in the Holy Spirit with all its sweetness all its sweetness and you'll be able to endure it with full love and mercy for christ because following the pathway of christ is a narrow pathway it's a narrow pathway it's not the wide pathway that everyone's fall not everyone the secular world is falling is leading to you know let us really follow that narrow pathway towards christ that hard, narrow pathway that will lead us to eternal happiness, to eternal bliss, to eternal graces of joy with Christ and with God in heaven. Let's not follow the easy way, the easy way, the wide way of the secular world, but the narrow pathway for God's sake, laying aside all the worldly matters laying aside all the worldly matters so that we will be able to have that spiritual freedom. That spiritual freedom is what we need to really focus on. And so that's why when it comes to serving Christ, you know, serving God is having that worthy to be desired by God and for God and to embrace that and with that in mind. You know, allows us to earn the greatest good and joy. The greatest good and joy. You know, we all need it. We all need it. And we all are called to serve Christ and God. It's just, it can be in a variety of ways. You know, so therefore, if God's leading you to a specific person in your life, to marriage maybe, you know, just take on that challenge. You know, try. Or if God's leading you to a religious life, Go and see, and see how God's really speaking to your heart. You know, so it's really important that we allow ourselves to let God, like God, lead us to where He wants us to go, and from that point on, for us to see the greatness of what God wants us to accomplish very much. To really close off, though, I want you guys to flourish and bear fruit. To flourish and to be fruitful for Christ, FF, and to not allow the enemy to plant that seed of doubt and to plant that seed of discouragement, DD. FF, fruitful and flourish. That is what we should do for Christ during this month of Jesus Christ and the Sacred Heart of Jesus Christ, June. You know, June, J, June. Okay, that was not a J. That was an L. <laughs> 
But like, you know what I mean? Jay, Jay, June for Jesus. And it's really important that we not waste any time, you know? So therefore, sorry about that. I don't know the walls crack one way or another, but it's okay. I have my, I have Jesus got Mary all over me, so I'm happy with that. Anyways, as I was saying, just be fruitful and flourish for Christ. Remember that. And find that joy in serving Christ with pure intentions. With pure intentions. Because you don't want the enemy to feed on that sense of pride and that sense of ego while you're doing your ministry. So constantly remind yourself the question. Are you doing it for the glory of yourself? Or are you doing it for the glory of God? It should be the second answer all the time so always remind yourself as a little post-it note checkpoint so that so it really reminds you that you're in the right path instead of just being in that illusion of just like no i'm doing for christ for and then really god's like hello buddy hello like you know you don't want god to be looking at you like that no i mean yeah in a way god loves us very much but we have to do our part we can't just rely on the fact that god loves and be like oh yeah he loves me and whatever i'll just do my own thing no like we have to show our love and our mercy for god by allowing ourselves to do our part and not being hypocrites right so with that said flourish be fruitful follow what god is leading you to do therefore if god's leading you to location the specific person go don't waste time don't wait you know it's all in god's time you know, we have to trust in God's perfect timing and for us to be very productive and proactive. PP. Proactive and productive. And for us to persevere through patience. So, there you have it. Always find joy in serving God all the time. And it's something that we should not take for granted, but something that we should love doing every single day and allowing ourselves to see Jesus in everyone around us. Everyone around us. So with that said, I will continually pray for you all. I have no idea who's watching this, but if you know me in person, we will meet again in the, one of the young adult ministries or whatnot. And may God bless you all, and I will see you in my next video. And before I fr <laughs> say goodbye, you know what the drill is. As I always love to say in all my videos, don't be afraid to be true warriors of Christ. <laughs>